Okay, this is today's project. We've got a E300 Razor scooter that we're going to overvolt to 36 volts using the stock controller and the stock motor. Um, these batteries are old, uh, but it'll get the required voltage that we need to make it work and make it run, and also give you an idea of how to hook the thing up. Um, we've got three 12 volt batteries right here one, two, three, and negative goes to negative, and then uh, just keep it in series. Uh, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Um, and that'll get you 36 volts. If you were to hook it up uh, red to red to red, black to black to black, to here they'd give you 12 volts at, uh, at, a, at a very larger amp hour rating, uh, which is what we don't need because the thing won't run on 12 volts. So we hook, we hook them up in series, and these are jumpers. And same thing with these. These are jumpers because it, it, I was using um, some smaller 7 amp batteries but I don't have three 7 amp batteries to show and so I just put some jumpers on here to to show you how it's supposed to go. Um, once you've got 36 volts, which is what these two wires are going to be, that's your power going in, okay? Um, it's going to come to your controller and this is the power right here, the power plug. Um, this is the motor plug right here. Uh, this is the charger plug, okay? And this is the this is the six pin throttle or derailleur plug. Okay, and that's a stock stock controller. By the way, there's a CT one oh one C controller that's in here. Um, this scooter is about ooh about six to ten years old, so this is before Razor started making cuts. It may be a better controller. You may not be able to find this controller. I don't know. Um, but uh, getting a controller like this is not a big issue if it, if it blows up. If it does blow up, you can just get a 36-volt uh, a controller and that'll do essentially the same thing. Uh, you're still overvolting your, your motor, which is right there, and you're getting the same power out of it. Um, it's, it's not that big a deal. Uh, if it blows up, it's like 20 bucks. Um, okay, so from here we got power going in to your power plug, okay, and the hot wire hot wire follow the hot wire over here and right here you've got your charger port you've got your on off switch and you've got your breaker your hot wire right here goes to the goes to the middle lead on oh, this is on my scooter it may be different on yours on uh, goes to the middle lead here and then out on the bottom lead over to the bottom uh, of the top of the uh, the 25 amp breaker and to the bottom from the bottom of the 25 amp breaker it goes over to the plug right here. I'm not sure you can follow that, uh, but um, it does. Um, so once you've got your 36 volts plug right in, it should go ready to go. You can see that by by the light right there. It's on. I've got a full charge. It's telling me I've got full. And as I as I hit move the controller or as I increase the Here it running in the background. It tells me I have a low battery. It tells me I have a full battery now, and that's how that's supposed to work. That's your power indicator. Um, but you've mounted a uh, a, a uh, Harbor Freight, um, excuse me, meter to your handlebars. And by the way, I have the same meter. Works great. You mounted it to your handlebars right here, and run a uh, lead all the way down to your batteries, which you'll connect the negative to here and the positive to here. Do it a hard wire, just turn it on every time you need it and you're good to go. Shouldn't go below 31 and a half volts because that'll uh, that'll be considered dead by your batteries. That means all batteries, all three batteries are at 10 and a half volts and a 12 volt battery is considered dead at 10 and a half volts. So to monitor, that's why you have to monitor your own your own battery because the the low voltage cutoff works as a uh, a safeguard to where it monitors and shuts your your uh, your scooter off at 20 volts, 21 volts, thereabouts, because you want um, you want to make sure that your batteries don't get overdrained. Uh, so it's just doing it for you and, and keeping an eye on it for you. Um, so basically, you've got you've got one one uh, one battery plug here. You've got a motor power to your motor plug. Let's unplug that and get that out of the way so you can see a little bit better. Um, this is your uh, take it back. This is your charger, okay? 
Now, notice that when I unplug the charger port, okay, the light goes out. Well, over here on the charger port, there's actually two black wires that come off of this. One black wire is right here, and the other black wire is right here. So you've got two, two black wires coming off the bottom of your charger port. One, which is this one right here, is just a light to your switch. So really your controller is on, it's just that you can't tell because it's not plugged in. Because as soon as you plug it back in, there's your light. Sorry for the compressor. Uh, you'll want to change your, your uh, breaker out. I noticed you had your breaker like right here. Okay. Um, you can put it right there. That's fine. But if you had, a, you had a spot right there, you can put it right there. That's no big deal. Um, but you can mount it wherever you want to. I also noticed you're using um, uh, wire, not wire ties, uh, um, twist, uh, twist on wire lug nuts. <laughs> Everybody's got their own choice. I prefer I prefer crimp on, and then I like to solder if I, I know it's going to be like a battery connection or something like that. So I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll crimp it and then I'll solder it unless uh, unless I've got something just for temporary use. Um, I think that's pretty much it. It's pretty self I don't know not self-explanatory, but pretty easy. Uh, you got the hot wires. You got the hot wires coming in. Goes to your battery. Or your uh, your plug. Once your plug goes to your scooter, okay. You've got power coming out to your motor. You've got throttle, derailleur, uh, brake, and power indicator. And then you've got a charging port. Uh, oh, your charging port. You had you had your uh, fuse hooked onto your charger itself. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, but you don't want to take the the the, the fuse, I don't know, I guess you, you don't want to take, me, I would have put, I guess I'm out of words here, me, I would have put the, the fuse right here, okay, in between here, and that way, um, by the way, that's that's to the, uh, the the charging port, that way I don't have to mess with it, I can just button this whole thing up, and I can button the whole top up, and I won't have to worry about the fuse being ever messed with again, and it's, it's right there, and you won't, um, uh, let's say, uh, defeat this 40 amp breaker this 3 amp won't defeat the 40 amp breaker because the 3 amp is not connected to anything because here is your charging port and it's open the only way it's it's ever being used is when you're charging and that's when you plug something into it like this my finger that's the that's the connector for the charger port if I plug it in now it's being used and usually your scooter is off when you're doing that right so you plug it in your scooter's off and now your breaker is for running. Your your 40 amp breaker is now for running the scooter, and your 3 amp breaker is for charging the scooter, and that's that's all it's for. Um, after that, I don't know of any other questions you had. Let me know if this helps, or if I can make another video. Thanks.